What's up, everyone? Mr. Octagonal here from Octagonal Gaming. Now, we are back with the Octagonal Podcast. This is episode number two. So, last time, which was two days ago, we talked about the Sheldon Richardson trade, as well as the Tigers trading Justin Upton and Justin Verlander. I'm a big Tigers fan, so they do make that does make me a little upset, but we definitely need to rebuild. So, today, we're going to be talking all things college football. So, Alabama and Florida State, the one and three ranked teams, Played last night going head-to-head, and Alabama came out with a victory 24-7. to I did pick Alabama to win that game. However, I had Florida State winning the championship. I had Florida State losing that game and then winning the championship. Well, after some uh, news we have here, I don't really think Florida State's going to win the championship. And some very unfortunate news is the sophomore quarterback, DeAndre Francois, who injured his leg late in the game, will be out for the season with a, uh, with a patella tendon injury in his left knee. Now, that's really bad because he's going to be gone for the season. I thought Florida State was going to win the championship. They did lose players like Dalvin Cook and Demarcus Walker. Both went in the second round. But teams like Alabama lost a lot more. Let's look at their defense, their defensive line. They lost Dalvin Tomlinson and Jonathan Allen. Linebackers, they lost Reuben Foster, Tim, uh, Tim Williams, and Ryan Anderson. Secondary, they lost um, Marlon Humphrey. And I feel like they lost some other players in their secondary. But I just I'm having a brain fart. This Alabama defense, they still were really darn good without players like Jonathan Allen, who honestly could have been in the Heisman race. Now, someone who I really like on that Alabama defense is cornerback Minka Fitzpatrick. I think he's really underrated. Same with Derwin James. We'll get to Florida State in a minute. So Alabama definitely want a team that could win the championship. Obviously, they were ranked number one, and a lot of people do have them winning the championship. I had them actually losing to Penn State in the um, first round of the college football playoff. And another team that could win the championship is Penn State. So they obviously just played Akron, which they won like 52 to nothing, something like that, which that isn't that big of an accomplishment because Akron's a crappy school. But Trace McSorley, the quarterback, he looks good. Saquon Barkley, their running back, I think he's the second best player in the draft. This upcoming draft behind Derwin James. Uh, which he had a great game. Heisman hopeful for sure. Their receivers were really good. The only player I can think of off the top of my head who they lost this past season was Chris Godwin, who was a wide receiver taken in the second or third round by the Bucks. So Penn State's another team. USC I had was the other team in the college football playoffs. So I had Florida State, Alabama, USC, and Penn State. Sam Darnold did not have a great game against Western Michigan, but uh, USC still got the win. There's some other teams you could put in there. LSU, I feel like, could be a sleeper team. Darius Juice, I probably butchered that, is their amazing running back. Uh, excellent defense players like Arden Key. Uh, as a pass rusher, they could use a better quarterback, though. But let's go to Florida State. So, Florida State is still going to be a decent team. Well, I shouldn't really say decent. They're still going to be a good team. They still have some good players like Derwin James in their secondary, who I think is the best player in this upcoming draft. And this is not the first time I've said that about a Florida State defensive back. Let's just go to a couple years ago, 2016 draft. I thought Jalen Ramsey was the best player coming out of college. But, personally, I think this is a big blow for Florida State. Teams that could take advantage of this. Clemson, a really good game with Kelly Bryant as their new quarterback. He ain't the new Deshaun Watson, but he definitely impressed against... It was either Rice or Toledo, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it was it was probably some like Mac team or some some crappy team. Uh, Louisville is also in their conference. Lamar Jackson is getting no hype. He just won the Heisman as a sophomore, and now he's back here in his junior year. So he's probably going to be even better. So I'm very excited to see what Louisville can do. I probably have Louisville around ten wins. They definitely can beat Florida State now. Florida State obviously is much more vulnerable without DeAndre Francois. And now their quarterback is situation is much worse. That's going to end this video. Tell me in the comments who you think will win the national championship. I thought it was going to be Florida State, but this is a big blow for them. This is their starting quarterback. Now, hopefully for him, I hope he does really well next year because he's going to be a junior next year. He may, he may be like a medical redshirt, so he may be a redshirt sophomore. Not entirely sure. I looked, I looked, I needed to look him up because I could needed to see the injury. That's what it said. But I, I know it, I know like red shirting and stuff, but I, I mean, he already played, so I don't know if he can red shirt him. That's going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully episode three of the podcast series will come out soon. Uh, when something interesting happens in sports, something exciting, even though this is definitely not really exciting. 
because it's an injury. Injuries aren't really exciting. So that's it for me, guys. I'm out. Peace.